Hey, it's been, it's been a while since we visited the Aquatic Critter, one of my favorite shops here in Nashville. Let's go inside and see what they've got in stock. And uh, what do you think? You ready? You ready to go inside? See some fish? <laughs> All right, let's go. Look at the outside tubs. These are four inch koi, $12.99. Five inch butterfly koi for $29.99, 10 inch koi for $99, 6 inch koi for $39.99. So as it cools down, they, uh, they close down the outside displays. 8 inch koi, $59.99. Calico, Bunkin and red and white Sarasa Comets. Really pretty. Look at those. What do you think? You like them? Cute, huh? All right. Let's go inside. Fish on the wrong side. Thanks. Mm -hmm. They always seem to have the sea managuense in stock. Probably have a good local breeder. Nice size pleco, probably brought in by somebody whose tank was just too small. Look at these guys, they remind me of what we used to call crawdads over in California. This is where I got my Salvini from. They have some real nice uh, small ones in here. Not sure if that's a black belt, that might be the, the dovi with that black spot near the back. cute banded convicts, the rabbit of the fish world, comparable to guppies and how much fry you'll have. These polar convicts are, are kind of cute. The big bellies got some Jack Dempsey's in here too. I really like my Jack Dempsey. Very slow grower though. Red tear. I'd like to get a hold of a female red tear. Might end up ordering one from a from predator fins. Some nice tiger and albino tiger Oscars here. Again, they usually have these in stock. I suspect there's a local supplier. Some more of these uh, little pot belly convicts. Polar blues. Really cute. This guy's been here for a while. I'm, I'm pretty sure. That's a fish that somebody brought in who just outgrew their tank. Red Devil, 60 bucks. You're gonna have to have the right tank for them. I forget about tank tank mates. Jack Dempsey's 899 with some turquoise jewel cichlids mixed in there. Really pretty. Not sure if they get along when they get older. This is quite a mix in here. You've got uh, some Mabuna. You've got some uh, African peacocks, along with some silver dollars, along with some, some OBs too. I've always loved the way they, uh, they keep and display their betta with a constant, uh, a constant flow of fresh water. It's just a top off system. Look at that guy, that's a pretty little fish. You can pick them, pick them up for under ten bucks, six ninety nine. But a few of them, the more beautiful uh, types, will cost you a bit more. This is where I bought my original mustard gas betta, way back when, Mr. Mustard. Three sections, three sections of betta, usually pretty well stocked. And you can usually find some exceptional specimens. But again, if you want the fancy ones, you're going to pay a little more. They're a nice plant selection today. I already have some of this, but I was really impressed with that hornwort. I'm going to take some of that home for sure.
This angelfish has a little brown in the body. Don't think I've ever seen that. Nothing for sale in this tank. That's more of a display tank. So you have a display tank and then on each side of it you have plants for sale. They're pretty well stocked today. Yeah, I think I'll pick up some of that hornwort for sure. Nano fish, and of course, you've got your what the river calls candy, candy fish, your glow fish, very, very popular. Good entry level fish for kids. Silver dollars, not a bad price. I sure wouldn't mind adding three or four more to my 210 gallon. Got a great selection of neons in several tanks. Not that many rummy nose. Love the markings on a German blue ram, but I've never had luck with rams. They don't seem to last long for me. I don't know why. I haven't bought any since I came to California. I should take it back. I had some gold rams that were sent to me by the Siglachak, but again, they didn't really last that long. It's a pretty fish. Big selection of tetras and big selection of community fish, some nice gourami specimens. They always have a lot of those red eyes, red eyed tetras, really pretty puffers. These golden lyre tails, gold panda lyre tails. Some nice clown loaches in there too. Yeah, if you're looking for a community fish, no scarcity of them here. Nice rainbows. Again, mixed in with some clown loaches. They had a neon rainbow. That was so beautiful a few weeks ago. Nice guppies, more rainbows, some tetras, some of the black, let's call these black skirt tetras, real rugged fish, used to be used when cycling tanks. Mixed live bearers, $2.99, some nice platies in there. bucks for an angelfish and some neons. Not a bad price when you buy a bunch of them. I wouldn't mind adding even five more. I've got about 15 in my 55 gallon. It's my favorite kind of angelfish. Your koi angelfish. If I was to add angels, I'd probably add some kois. I also love the black skirt angelfish, the ones that look like lace, black lace, very pretty. As you can see, they were pretty well stocked. Red eye tetras, some marble angelfish, these are pretty. I really like these red panda barbs. Remind me of a clown loach a little bit. I am avoiding barbs in general just because I don't want any nippy fish in the community tank. River was checking out the uh, substrates. Couldn't make up her mind. Someone asked about what I had in the uh, in my 20 gallon and it's this Supernatural. So this is where I got it from. And it just, it's a cap over some uh, some of that fluval plant substrate. I just capped it off with that Supernaturals. Love the fish in that tank. More rainbows. Don't see any of those neon rainbows. I think 
These are young Tapajos, Geos. The redhead Tapajos, beautiful fish. They get pretty good size too. Another mixed tank. Rivers having a good old time. Nice gouramis. Love these uh, these gold gouramis. Beautiful color and a nice pattern on the fins and body. Again, I'm, I'm kind of avoiding gouramis because they can be a little nippy. Bunkin. These are some we're getting into the goldfish section, what you'd call a fancy goldfish section. Pretty colors. When it comes to goldfish, I'm more of a of a koi fan. Which means someday I'm gonna have to have a pond. These these are pretty though, look at that. That's a beautiful fish. So are these here. Great gold fish selection. Calico fantails. Not a fish I've ever really gotten into, except maybe when I was about 10 years old. I think I had some, uh, there were probably some feeder fish that somebody bought for me <laughs> as a pet. I think I won one at a carnival one time. Tossed a penny in a cup. It's a good looking guy. They have a few, a few African cichlids in this section. Some Borley eyes. Borley eyes are good looking. I wouldn't mind having a Borley eye. Don't know how they get along with those big haps. It'd probably take me about a year to get them big enough to put in the tank. Lemon jakes are one of my favorite fish, the way they look. But I started calling them lemon jerks because they can be pretty territorial. A lot like otter points. Nice Mabuna selection. If I was to start a Mabuna tank, come here and pick some up. Good looking fish. Nice and healthy. One of those Borley eyes. $15.99. Not a bad price. But again, I have to spend about a year growing them out maybe longer before they, there'd be any chance of putting them in with those big fish. Some more Mabuna on Oratus. I wonder if they, if they sell those with a warning. Boy, that can be an aggressive fish right there. Deep waters. Deep water haps. One of the Prettiest shades of blue. Some Venusus, small Venusus. Back over to the goldfish section. Some high fin catfish, catfish in there. No scarcity of supplies. Anything you could possibly need for your aquarium, fresh or salt water, or your pond, you're gonna find here from uh, your filtration supplies to scaping and decor and driftwood, whole variety of rocks. I've purchased a few rocks here. Some of the rocks in my 90 gallon. Every possible kind of substrate In the very back of the store, you have these uh, large tanks, discus and geos. Love this uh, this geo. Looks like he has lipstick on. That's a big fella. Good looking fish. That looks like a Surimanensis right there. Beautiful discus. Probably 150 bucks. They sell their discus with no warranty. All right, we picked up some plants and some uh, brine shrimp.
we're gonna go ahead and head home and get uh, get those plants into the aquarium. Maybe give the, the fish a treat with that brine shrimp. And I think we had a good time. Did you have fun there, River? Have fun, Yeah? <laughs> okay, let's head home.